Hi, what's going up guys? Welcome to Danny's Look Show and today I'll be showing you my cassette collections. So let's have a look at it, shall we? Follow me. Woo! Look at that. I always keep meaning to do it for ages to um to show everyone of my cassette collections that I've got. Uh, this is pretty sweet. I used to have loads of them, but most of them got well been got rid of actually. I wish I could have kept them. So this is the only cassettes collections that I've got just right now. And I'm gonna show it to you everyone. And let's start right now. So let's go for the uh, the very first one. This one first came out in 1995. This is the uh, the best summer ever, which is all like the uh, summer songs. And uh, this was actually released by um, by Virgin, as you can see here, Virgin. So this is really cool. Also, uh, next up is uh, Eugene Wilde album, which I really love. This album, it's a soul and R&B album and this one first came out in 19, no, 1984 and as you can see here the original sticker our price for about £4.99 on top 30 wow sweet so I recommend um, buy this album listen to this album it is the best and also next up Brass Push <laughs> one of the uh, at the time they were like the popular boy band in the 80s There you go. Brass. Yeah. Also, uh, next up, uh, one of my favourite albums of all time, Are You Gonna Go My Way by Lady Kravis, one of my music hero of all time. Um, this is the best album ever. This one came out in 1993. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention Bross. That came out in 1988, I believe. Yeah, sorry. Big pardon. This one first came out in 1993, this album. So, yeah. This is a really cool album. Yeah. So that's that one. And also, um, next up, this is uh, Jellyfish, the album called Belly Button. Uh, there's another R Price sticker, £7.49. R Price Music Chart. <laughs> I remember R Price. You know, he, used, he used to go there all the time when I was a kid. This is the album called Belly Button. And uh, this was like, released on the, um, on the Charisma album as well. People have. Uh, have made like you know Genesis so this is the best album I, I really love this one there's another album I really like which is called Split Milk that one came out in 1993 so this one that came out in 1990 so this one this one came out in 1990 this one's called uh, One World One Voice which is all like the various artists albums that joined um, of this album so it's a uh, really nice it's a really nice album. Shame there's no tracks in it in, into this one. It's like a like you know from part one and part two. Yeah, this one came out on Virgin as well. Also next up, this is the uh, Wipeout 2097, the original soundtrack on the cassette. And as people know or don't know, Wipeout is a uh, PlayStation One game based on a PlayStation One game. I would say. So. Uh, there's some really cool artists like Future Sound London, Underworld, Orbital, Left Field, and also there's even Daft Punk as well. It's brilliant, fantastic. I actually played this uh, on my iPod not long ago, actually. I've got the CD of it, and I'll put it onto iPod. So that was that one. And uh, this one's um, DJ Power, mixed by uh, Danny Rumplin. Yeah. And I think that came, I do believe it came free on a magazine, I think. I actually found this in the charity shop. And I think I'm def I'm definitely right. I think it kind of came out, like, you know, for the magazine, I'm definitely sure. Definitely, definitely, definitely sure. <laughs> so that's that one. Um, yeah, and this one, I do believe this one came out in uh, probably 93 or 94, 95, this cassette. Also, I forgot to mention this one. That one came out in 1996 or 1997, that one. Oh, big mistake. Uh, so this one came out in 1982 or 83, this one. This is the uh, Malcolm McLaren album called... Uh, 
I can't remember. What was it called? I thought it was cassette. Oh, that rock. That rock, of course, yeah. How can I can't forget. I keep forgetful today. As you can see, there is your charisma record. Yeah. Yeah, that roll. This is a, this is a really nice album. This one, so uh, I recommend uh, listen listen to this album. I actually got this on CD. Uh, it's cool. All right. And uh, next up, this one's uh, came out in 1993. This one. This is the um, Orb Live 93, where it's all various live live songs they did. Uh, I really like this one. Turn it around. Ooh. That was just like Bro Evil 39. Ooh. This is all like mirrorized. This is really reminds me of the uh, like the Pink Floyd album cover of that one. So that was that one. And also next up, one of my one of my most favourite DJ hero of all time, Fat Boy Sim. You come a long way, baby. This is the original cassette of this one. So I was I was very pleased when I found this. I actually got it on C D and I even had a, a copy of the uh, the CD of it, thanks to my auntie, who recently passed away last year. So uh, yeah, I still got the I still got the copy of the CD. So I was really I was very pleased that I've kept it. You know, so uh, this is one of the best album ever. I really love it. This is really that this album really got me inspired me to um, to DJ and also doing music as well. So I really enjoyed this one. So that's that one. This one like came out in 1998. That one, and also this one. <laughs> this is actually belonged to my dad. Actually, Road to French. It's basically uh, learn how to speak French properly. Bonjour. Road to French. Mm. Yes. So that's that one. I don't remember what year that came out. And also next there's another Lenny Kravitz album, which is uh, called Mama Said. Which that came out in 1991. So, this one's really nice, that one. Also, next up, this is uh, Help, which is the uh, it's charity uh, music where you had like artists, bands, like I think Night Cherry was involved with it, Radiohead, Oasis, even Paul McCartney was involved with this as well. So, unfortunately, there's no like tracks into this one. This one came out in 1995, it was a part of the War Child charity. That was that one. And also, uh, next up, Nye Cherry. This one came out in 1988 or 89, this one. This is the Raw Like Sushi. So, got this on record, got this on cassette, and got this on CD as well. So that's that one. There's another Lady Kravis album, Let Love Raw. This one came out in 1989. This is his first ever album. So, yeah, that's a really cool album, this one. Yep. Also, next up, this is the Inner City album, Paradise Remixed, which is all the uh, the remix of the songs they did. It was off after when they did their first album of Paradise. Yeah. So, this is a really good one. Also, the next one up is the, the late and great Robert Miles, with his album called 23AM. This one came out in 997. Listen to 23AM and also Dreamland as well. Dreamland is the best album. So that's that one that came out in 997. Um, and also we got Smash Hits 1990, which I got this on CD. Uh, my dad actually found this and was, he said, here, you can have it. I was like, oh, cheers. <laughs> so that's that one, came out in 1990. Yeah. So that's that one. Also, next up, uh, this used to be belong to my dad actually. This is the Elton John. Uh, two albums in this one, Tumbleweed Connection, and also if you turn it around, Don't Shoot, I'm Only the Piano Player, which is uh, one cassette, uh, two albums on a one cassette, so which is cool. And also, this one, Big Box, this is Heaven 17 album called Endless, which is all like 12 mixed versions and remixes and everything, so that's really cool. Unfortunately, there's nothing there, it's only the barcode, yeah. <laughs> Also, this one, uh, Paul McCartney album, Tug of War. But not only it's the album, it is actually the, if I can just quickly, um, it's actually a sample interview. This is, uh, I would say it's quite a rare 
interview. This is the interview where he was promoting for uh, Tuckle Ball in 1982. So this is really cool. Also, next up, we've got uh, Deep Heat, the dance album of the year, 90. So this is the 1991. So it's a really cool album. Yeah, that's that one. And also, uh, next up, we've got DP5, which is called Feed the Fever. 32 hottest club hits, including exclusive remixes. And I have actually got other DP albums on record, so I think I should definitely do a video of uh, the next Danny Look show for uh, DP albums. So that's that one. Also, this one is the uh, Addiction to Wine, Addiction to Wine, or something like Ad Addiction to Wine. And this cassette, you can actually listen to this on my YouTube channel. Go and check it out. And also, this was actually narrated by my dad. My dad actually uh, narrated this, uh, this, uh, this one. So this one came out in 1992. This one. Also, my last one is uh, this one came out in 1999. This is Galaxy Mix, mixed by Boy George. And as you all know, Galaxy FM was was actually a well radio show. Galaxy FM, which is not there anymore, and also there's another R price one. They were saying for about eleven pounds forty nine. This one, cool. Yeah, good mix. I really like it. I actually uh, fixed that cassette because I had a few problems with it, so I actually fixed it. So it was quite good on this one. So yeah, and that was it. So basically that's everything on my cassette collections. Uh, thank you for watching on Danny's Look Show. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll be bringing you some more episodes of Danny's Look Show. Until then, I say goodbye. Ta-ta.